Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna dip this, and I'm just curious to see what the line's gonna look like as it shows up right away. So let's go ahead and dip. Go ahead and lay that down. Today is cycle day eight, and I'm wondering if I am getting very close to a surge. This is pretty concentrated. Yeah, I see a line already. Okay. Probably getting pretty close, but I'm only cycle day eight, so I wouldn't mind it holding off another day or two, but either way, it shouldn't be that bad. So we'll, we'll wait and when it's done processing, we'll see what the app gets, gives it and what it looks like. Okay. So this only got a 0.61. So yesterday was just a tiny bit higher at 0.69, I think. But also, you know, air and concentration matters. So I was probably a little more dehydrated yesterday. So it should still be negative, which I'm glad. Because the sperm come tomorrow. So I'd rather have it before that happened. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Wonder when this started. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. I well, the thing is my my you know my my CM is I feel like it's fertile today. Wow, I wonder when this happened. And I did not take one of these yesterday. Hmm. Okay, boy, I really wish I'd have done this. I didn't take one of these yesterday, so I don't, I don't know if, uh, I don't know. But this lately has been doing dye stealers when I'm, you know, the day after the start. So this is probably the start. It is, oh, what is it? It's like three o'clock in the afternoon and it is May 3rd, which is Wednesday, two, three, four, no, it's the 4th. May 4th, Wednesday. So at about three o'clock in the afternoon. So, okay, let's take a look at the lines. Okay, so line isn't even really that dark. You know, it's so funny. I've had lines that look just like that and it would be a negative, it'd be an empty circle. So, okay, so I'm, I'm hoping that this is fresh, that this just started this afternoon. Um, but either way, I, my sperm are coming tomorrow, and so I'll monitor myself tomorrow and just see if I have smiley faces all day tomorrow. I might, might have uh, positives all day tomorrow, which means I would most likely ovulate on Friday, which I was actually hoping for, because that's cycle day 10. And so that would be okay. It's early, it's, it's early, but it's, it's happened before. I've conceived before on day 10. It, you know, obviously it ended in a chemical pregnancy, but the egg still fertilized, which means it was at least mature, not healthy, but it was mature. So, all right, well, interesting. Um, I guess I will um, see how, I guess what I'll be doing now is I'll, I'll test again tonight around eight or nine o'clock and see how dark this gets. And then if I have a dye stealer tomorrow and maybe when this becomes negative again, it's most likely gonna become negative by Friday morning. So today's Wednesday. So I bet by Friday morning, I'll finally get a negative on this. So anyway, well, unexpected surprise here. So, but I'm always glad to see a smiley face. All right, so I will check back uh, with the next test. Okay, so it is pretty dark. The app gave it a 0.7, so that's definitely getting up there. But I believe the surge, of course, is still on. I don't know what's going on exactly if my urine was diluted, but either way, if, if something happened with the connection, I'll probably jump back into a surge this afternoon. Maybe my body is trying to surge and something's going on. But either way, I have not ovulated yet, and I know that because of my temperature. 
Well, I don't know if I missed my surge or if I surged and it stopped and I might surge again tomorrow. I don't know. This is not good. And this is light with very, very concentrated urine. I am cycled 89, which wouldn't be an issue if I didn't have a smiley face yesterday. So, you know what, I'm gonna trust. I'm not gonna, I am not going to inseminate without, you know, this being the way it needs to be, which is die stealer. And obviously, this needs to remain a smiley face more than just 12 hours. I mean, yeah, so, uh, yeah. I don't know, I wish I had been able to take a test on Tuesday, I was not able to, I was at a working interview all day long Tuesday, which it was a total waste, and I do not want to work there whatsoever, and I did not get to test until the evening. I don't want it my nose. You do? Today is Thursday. Yeah, so my surge, I caught it, what, yesterday? Anyway, I don't know. I only have one of these left. So then I have to, I have one left. So I don't know what to do. I'll save it for tomorrow. Honestly, this is why basal body temperature is so important. As you saw, I had a, I had a smiley face yesterday and it is gone now but there's no ovulation pain and it's tapering off but it's not taking a dive, the lines. So basal body temperature, I can't stress it enough. It is so useful. And so this morning, so this morning, this morning was 97.18, I think it was. So tomorrow morning, if it's still that low, then I'll know I'm probably just going to try and surge again. So I'm going to try and surge again and hopefully get things right. Okay, so this isn't done running yet, but it's, you know, pretty light. But I, this is kind of where, where I should be on cycle day 10. Now I know that I did have a smiley face two days ago. Yeah. So let's take a look at the line, but I'm feeling a lot of stuff going on in my ovaries, especially my left ovary. And so I kind of feel like my body is now doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so that is a 0.9. And we'll see if I am getting surge number two, my true surge. Okay. Not yet. Okay, but yeah, this is very, very high at a 0.9. And yet this is still an empty circle. Okay, so it is cycle day 13. This is my very last easy at home strip, but I do have more coming later on today. So I've been saving this. So this is second morning urine. It is cycle day 13 and let's just see what the line looks like. Okay, so I just dipped it and I don't know if this is the best sample, but oh yeah, I can see the line already. I could most certainly guarantee that today is definitely going to be surge, which I'm okay with. I, I hope that means I ovulate tomorrow on cycle day 14. Okay, so we'll give that a minute and we'll come back. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I would say I should be getting a positive today. If not right now, let's go ahead and take the pink holder and see if it shows up positive. Okay, so the app only gave this a 0.7, but I know it's gonna be positive today. 
two days ago it was 0.9 and so the app thinks today is 1 dpl but it's not so yeah <laughs> okay yay and you guys really I, I knew this because of my temperature. I can't stress enough how taking basal body temperature takes the guesswork out of everything. Your temperature does not lie. I'm telling you, <laughs> I can't stress it enough. Wow, I wonder when this happened because this is second morning urine at 6.30 in the morning. Well, it's like, is it seven o'clock now? It's, yeah, it's right at 7 a.m. right now. So this is, this is second morning urine. It's 7 a.m. on cycle day 13. So it could have started somewhere in the middle of the night. Or, I mean, I took one late last night, and I hope I didn't delete that. I can show that. But yeah, so I am positive it's 7 a.m. in the morning. So... Yeah, I'm excited. But like I said, when I went this morning for my sample, there was the fertile CM. So I'm excited, I'm so happy. And this is only 0.7. When I was a 0.9 two days ago, and yet it was totally negative. Okay, it might get darker this afternoon, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna ovulate this afternoon. So it is 6.37 a.m. And you can see the test line is darker than the control line. So, which this usually happens on day two of surge and or ovulation day. So, but it's already been 24 hours since I caught the surge with the digital yesterday morning at 7 a.m. And so here we're coming up on 7 a.m. the next day. So today's May 10th, and so it's been 24 hours. So lately I have been ovulating around the 36, 38 hour mark, which brings me back down to 7 p.m. today. So I definitely want to get the sperm in either this morning or this afternoon. This is kind of ruining my walk here. This is like not cool. I really wanted to, you think I can walk by? <laughs> Dang it, there's people over there. Oh, I just don't want to get attacked. I wonder if it would just stay there. What if it charges me? Do they hunt? They don't hunt in the morning. You know what? I don't think this is a good idea. I'm scared. I don't want to walk by, and I, I'm almost done with the loop, and I, it's, it's lifting its head. It sees me. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't like this. So it is almost 8.30 p.m. May 10th. Yes, Tuesday, May 10th. And so I did inseminate this afternoon about 1.25 p.m. And, but you know, and I've been getting these dark lines all day long. I took one just now just to see if it was gonna start backing off or if it, if it was gonna give one last blazing positive for because I'm starting to have some pain in my ovaries. Um, so, and the app gave it a 1.34, I think. And so it is darker, but yet not super dark like I've had before. I think I, would, I had a two, like I had a two one time a couple cycles ago. But anyway, so here's what it looks like. Okay, so it kind of looks the same as the one from earlier. 
it gave it a 1.32. So, and I am coming up on 38 hours. So lately I have been ovulating roughly about 38 hours after I catch the start of my surge. So this morning at 7 a.m. was 24 hours. And so now here at 7 p.m. it was what, 36? And so now it's like, almost, it's 8.30, so nine o'clock, be about 38 hours. So hopefully I ovulate soon and I will check my temperature tomorrow and confirm that there is a rise in temperature in the next three days. Okay, so just took this and looks pretty strong still. It has been 50 hours since the start of my surge that I caught with the pink clear blue. That's like 9.18 a.m. And it's still positive, okay. And I've gone to the bathroom like a thousand times this morning. So, okay. So, yeah, this is like fourth morning urine. It's 9.18 a.m. and this is fourth morning urine. <laughs> so, still going strong, but I am starting to feel some jabs now in my ovaries. So, boy, this is the longest surge I have ever had. So, I will let you know when I feel those pumps and when we can start the countdown. This is the longest one ever, I gotta tell you. It's been over 50 hours. Okay, so I will uh, let you know when I'm feeling that pain and uh, how long the sperm has been in at that point. So yeah, negative, it was an empty circle this morning with second morning urine. Yeah, so still an empty circle, but even though that is so dark. So, and it's a 0.9, interesting. So this is like a 0.99, and yet this is negative. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this video. And like I said, I really, I do not have hardcore evidence that I ovulated until I have at least three consecutive days of a temperature rise. So that starts tomorrow morning. My temperature this morning was extremely low, like ovulation low. And so uh, tomorrow, if I am if I am 97.8 or above tomorrow, I'll think that, okay, maybe I did ovulate. So there may not be a pregnancy test video. I will uh, record my temperature proof of ovulation video basically to see if there's even a pregnancy test video to record. There may not be. So yeah, I think the stress got to me. I think all the stress of trying to find a job and the daycare thing and everything just messed me up completely. So, you know, that's what happens. Even if it's good stress and, you know, even if I'm excited about a job and excited about daycare or whatever, it doesn't matter. My body hates it. I can't handle it. I just can't. So I can't handle stress, even when it's good stress. So anyway, that is it for this video and I will see you next time. Bye.